guys. It's your girl Leo. <laughs> channel and today I'll be doing a book haul another book haul um this one is actually a September and October book haul like some of the books that I accumulated in the month of September and October and stuff like that so there's a lot of books here well not a lot but like there's a few and um these are the books that I accumulated so far some of them are well, two of them are um, Book of the Months, and then the others I just kind of bought on Amazon and um, the one from Target. So, let's get to it. Okay. So, the first, okay, so, um, yeah, so the first book that I got was in the month of September. This was a Book of the Month selection. This is, was a, a YA um, the YA, um, book in the month, um, thing that came, um, <clears throat> in September, and I really wanted this book because, like, because I have the same author's book, not same author, but the first book, but I never got a chance to read it because I, a lot of people on booktube were talking about it, say how they didn't like it. Well, I got Permanent Record by... Mary H.K. Choi, um, this book is thick, like, I'm pretty sure this book is like almost like 300 pages or 400, but, yeah, so, I heard this book was coming out, and I decided to get it, I was, wanted this for a while since I heard that she was coming out with another book, so, yes, yeah, so I never got a chance to read Emergency Contact, I still have that book, and, the reason why I haven't got a chance to read it is because a lot of people was um, talking about it, like saying that they didn't like it, <clears throat> and I don't know, it was just, they just didn't like that book. And I heard a lot of people saying that they like this one, and I was like, okay, well, soon I'll probably read this book, this not now, I just, I just want to read Emergency Contact first before I, I even get my hands on this. And I really like the, the back of it, it's so cute. I think the regular cover, like the, not the book of the, book of the month addiction, edition, the regular like, you know, published book is so cute. Or like, the dust jacket has this, this right here, and like, if you take out the dust jacket, it has, um, like more designs like this in the like in the regular um cover and it's so beautiful i, I think i should have got that one but i really wanted the book of the month one but this one is about um this pop star who she's not really a pop star but she's like a social media star and um and then there's this regular um guy named pablo who's a college dropout and um basically he's like struggling to live his life like you know he has um credit card debt and all these other things and somehow they they see each other the two people and i think somehow it just kind of hit it off so it's like a like a rock it's not a rock star but she's a singer i'm pretty sure Yeah, she's just they say she's a pop star. So yeah, she's a pop star. And the guy is like a college dropout and he's struggling to make ends meet and he's struggling with his life and stuff like that. So it seems really interesting. This book seems really thick. I think both of her books are really thick. <laughs> um I'm pretty sure this book has like four hundred pages. Let me see. Yep. This book has four hundred and something pages. Yeah, she's I think she likes writing some thick contemporary novels or something but yeah so i decided to pick this up in the month of september so i was very excited to have this the next book that i have is um the boy most likely two by huntley fitzpatrick i got this book on amazon and um i actually heard its author this author wrote um 
My Life Next Door. I actually want to read this book for a while. Um, all I know is that this book is about um, this boy named Tim, who's like, he's, he's the boy who's most likely to like find a liquor in a cabinet, blindfolded, need a liver transplant, and drive his car into that house. And, um, and there's this girl named Alice, named, yeah, her name is Alice, and she's, um, the girl who's most likely to, well, not date her little brother's baggage, burden, best friend, for starters. So basically, but it's just but these two people who try not to fall in love for each other. So, it seems so cute. I really love things like this, um, tropes like this, um. Seems like a really cute novel. This seems like a thick book too. Yeah, it has 400 pages. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's the book. Um, I'm really excited to read this. I'll probably read this pretty soon. I don't know when, but pretty soon. This is an interesting book. And I probably will read My Life Next Door. Um, it's like a like a boy next door type of trope. It's so cute, but I've been trying to read it for a while. But I've been, you know, like when you see a book that you want to read so badly, but you're just kind of skeptical about it. That's me. So I don't know if I if I like this book, I'll probably read my life next door. So yeah, so I got this one. So the next book that I got was the last thing you said by Sarah. Bedwin. Um, this book is um very very little. Just take a look at this. Like it seems very really little. Um, all I know is I heard I heard this book um a lot, and I've been wanting to get this book. It's been on my my wish list on Amazon for like the longest, and I never got a chance to read it. But all I know is that these it's about these two people who um who are very close and they're I think their best friend um yeah so their best friend Tricky Trixie is they she died and basically um this guy named Ben and then the girl named Lucy they has they always been together, they always been close, but ever since Trixie died, um, they've been distant, especially Ben. And so they try to do their best to move on and stuff like that. And um Yeah, so this book is basically about romance, healing, and finding yourself. So yeah, so this book seemed good, seemed interesting when I first um read a synopsis like a long long time ago like many months ago and I said to finally finally buy it and finally get a chance to read it this book seems really short too um like yeah it has 200 pages so it's not bad not bad for a book and yeah I can't wait to get into it okay so the next book is a book of the month selection I got this month of November and I've been seeing this all over booktube I've been wanting this for a while and I finally got it yeah so I've been wanting this for a while I saw a lot of people have arcs of this and I've been wanting this and I heard it's coming out this month and it did it came out already and I got it and it's Get a Life Chloe Brown Chloe Brown by Talia Talia Herbert. Sorry if I say her name wrong, but yeah, so this is the book I've been wanting for a while. Um all I know is like it's like a I don't want to say a boy next door. Why do I want to say boy next door? Um it's about this girl named Chloe Brown, obviously. She's she's chronically ill and she makes a list of things that she wants to complete to get a life and she meets this guy named red who has tattoos and has a motorcycle and basically things starts hitting it from there so yeah this seems like a really cute 
like um romance it seems so cute i really love the cover like look at that like that cover looks so cute like oh my god like i just love the way she looks and and how she looks and how he looks and yeah i think i really enjoyed this one um i'll probably read it this month who knows i really want to but i just keep looking at it and see how pretty it looks and just i want to read this book and the last book that i got was from target and this is a book that i decided to pick up because i really didn't know anything about it at all so it's called girls like you by christina alger she wrote other books she wrote, she wrote the banker's wife i think i heard that one but yeah so it's it's a thriller obviously um oh look riley sager wrote a blurb he said a smashing read instantly gripping and compulsively readable um i think all i know is it's about like this fbi agent who investigates this these many murders that happens in on the Long island and she's probably guessing if her father did it yeah i think that's all i know right now i think that's all i want to know i think it's in a detective fbi um point of view which i kind of dislike because i feel like it starts to become very boring when it's in the the, the detective's point of view but um because i read a few books like the whisper man and and stuff like that i don't know i think the cover really caught my attention i guess why i really wanted it and I, I obviously knew that it was a thriller book so it was perfect for me to to get it so yeah so yeah guys so that's all the books that i read i mean i said read <laughs> all the books that i got accumulated in the past in the past two months um, it's a lot of books to me. It is a lot of books that can, I accumulated in the past two months, but I'm excited for like all these books. Like I want to read them now, but I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much books to read right now because I already set a TBR for myself. And yeah, so soon I'll probably read some of these books soon. Probably one of the books I'll probably read, and that's to get a life Chloe Brown because. I'm really excited to read that one. I hope it lives up to as I always hype it up. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys please like this video. Um, comment down below, you know, what books that you saw on my um, my haul that I had that really interest you and what, what books you want to buy. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!